Hey, Joe, is that safe to eat? No, this safe is for securing your handgun while you are on the go. Mic drop. <laughs> Close enough. Hey, do you ever wish cleaning your gun was easier? Well, you can clean, lube, and protect your gun with Seal One. Seal One CLP Plus is natural, non toxic, environmentally friendly. Clean your guns easier, faster. You'll also smell better, too. Something that the wise will always appreciate. One and done with Seal One. Ask for it by name at your local gun shop or get some on the website, seal1.com. That's seal1, the number one, dot com. All right, Joe, tell us about Tuffy. Okay, so what we have is um, another product here from Tuffy Security Products. You might um, remember, I think it was probably a couple of months ago, uh, we reviewed a, um, a storage box, a lock box that goes, uh, that fits under the back seat of an F-150. And, um, you know, I was uh, taking a look at that, and that was just a fantastic product from Tuffy. Um, it's built solid. It's solid as a tank. Um, it was really easy to install, and it works just great. So what they have here is a, um, a kind of a smaller, ver not another smaller version of that, but just another uh, product from Tuffy Security Products. And um, what this is is their uh, universal valuable safe is um, what they call this product. And um, you can use this, uh, again, as for all, ver or all valuables, I suppose, universal valuable safe. Um, you could also use it for firearms. And it comes in two pieces here. You can see this. Um, you have a frame that the actual safe fits into, and the frame would be mounted. You could mount this in a vehicle. Uh, you could mount this in your home somewhere, in an office, wherever you wanted to, wherever you needed this kind of storage. Uh, again, really solid steel. I couldn't see the, uh, on the website, I didn't see the gauge of the steel, but I mean, it's, it's really beefy. It's all welded steel. Um, you could also buy extra of these things for uh, another $69. You can buy another sleeve for it. So you could have the one safe. You could have several different places that you mount it. You could slide the thing out and uh, move it around to different locations or if you have different vehicles or something like that that you want to use. So we've got the, uh, the frame that it mounts in. And then the actual, um, the actual uh, storage safe itself. And the version I've got here has a combination lock on here, and you can change the combination pretty easily on it. Um, you could also get this with a key lock, so it doesn't have to come with a combination lock. And if you open this up, you can see the inside of this, and it's all padded with a, kind of a carpet um, material in here. And the, uh, the way the lock works is uh, when you, you shut this up and slide it into the sleeve wherever you have it mounted, when you operate the lock, the lock secures it into the sleeve, so it's in there. You can also pull this out of the sleeve, and you could keep it locked when you're transporting it if you want to do that uh, with it. So it works um, pretty well. It's like I said, they they call it a universal valuables um, safe, so it's intended uh, you know for different uses. And in terms of firearms, uh, I tried a couple of firearms in here, and um, I've got a full size 1911, which fits in here perfectly. Um, I tried my, I also have a Glock 34, which uh, is the full size Glock. It's a little bit longer. Um, but I guess the 17 is the official full size Glock. Yeah. The 34 is about eight tenths of an inch longer, the slide assembly. Um, and it, that would have fit in here perfectly. I've got a uh, red dot sight on top of mine, so it just is a little bit too big to fit that. Show off. Um, but like my carry gun, uh, my Glock 19 would fit in here just fine, even with the red dot that I'm in the process of putting on the Glock 19. So uh, depends on the kinds of firearms you have. Uh, I did try the, uh, I've got a Ruger uh, GP100 uh, revolver. That was a little bit too big for this one. So it just depends. Uh, but this will hold most of your guns, especially a, um, a concealed carry type gun, and uh, which is nice because mounting this in the uh, car, this is a good option for, again, if you have to, um, if you're going someplace where you can't bring the gun in that you're carrying and you've got to leave it in the car, this is a great option to uh, lock it up like this. The other thing I noticed, too, with um, just an aside from Tuffy, again, uh, their products, I've got direct experience now with two of their products, and they're both just solid, um, this one and the, uh, the other one I've got for the F-150. Uh, they also make console-type boxes that are very similar that are designed specifically for your console. Same idea. Um, I haven't seen one of those, but I'm, um, I'm assuming uh, it's really bulletproof just like this one is. 
So these things list for uh, two nineteen, which again I think is pretty reasonable for what you're getting here. It's not bad. Um, yeah, and you can buy it directly from them. Uh, they have a number of distributors in Southern California, also where you can go in and take a look at this and uh, pick it up. Uh, you can also have uh, they have the options. This is how uh, the one that I got came, and this will work fine um, again with a firearm. Like I said, the uh, the uh, what was I going to say? The 1911 fit in here perfectly. I mean, it was just it was just uh, perfect. It's not going to move around or go anywhere at all. Uh, the entire inside is padded with this carpet, so even if it did move around, it's not really going to hurt anything. Um, you can get the what they call their pick and pluck foam, which um, is the foam uh, that's already cut, and you just pick out the size. So you could you could um, customize it, I guess, for whatever you want to put in here, be it guns or other kinds of valuables. Uh, so that's an option with it. Um, it does come with a lifetime warranty uh, for manufacturing and um, and materials. And like I said, this thing is is pretty solid. I think uh, you know you install this someplace and it's going to be just fine. Um, so let's see what else I want to talk about. The powder coat finish on here. So we have that. And I said you can get an extra mounting frame for it for sixty nine dollars. So so that can I ask you a couple questions? Yes, okay, please. So. That mounting frame that's close to me, mm -hmm. you that's what you, you that's what you screw into the vehicle. So yes, and it comes with the mounting hardware. Um, so again, depending on what you're mounting it to, I suppose you can mount it that way. You can go through the floor, I suppose, if you wanted to mount it like this. Just depends on you know how you want uh, how you want to do it. Uh, you could also use this in the in the home as well. I mean, it doesn't have to be in the vehicle. It, it'll work in vehicles. It'll work wherever you want to mount it. So you put that mount in wherever uh -huh. home vehicle, and then you slide the actual safe in. Right. So, or does it act like a drawer? So if this is mounted yeah. in the vehicle, okay, this would slide in here. Okay. And the, what? Well, how does it? Go ahead. So once you lock it, it latches it in here. So now it's secure in here. You would use the combination lock to unlock it, and you could pull it back out of here, and then you could uh, just switch it back and lock it again. So you can carry this around in a locked condition. I see. Or not. But That's you can't open it in the in the carrier. No. When, when it's in here, you're going to have to pull it out. You're going to gotcha. have to slide it out because the um, the door here is on this side. So oops. So gotcha. this is what opens. So if you had it installed, it's going in there like that. Right. Basically. And they actually put the door on the bottom side, which makes it even more difficult to get into. Yeah, this is really secure. And, and this is the, uh, the same thing I noticed with their, um, the uh, other one, the under seat uh, version that I have for the F-150. It would be really difficult to get into that one. I mean, obviously, if you had some time and some tools, you could. This one, I think, would be even harder. I mean, there's... There's really no way to get into this to pry this thing out. I mean, it would be really tough for somebody to break into this. But you, you could mount that under a seat, right? You could, yes. Okay. Right. Any place, you've got this four-hole like, pattern. So, like, per, let's so say, say you had a 2000 Jeep. Yeah, you could black. <laughs> That's Slightly black. Lift. Uh -huh. in, in the parking lot right now. Could we? <laughs> as long as you had the space, this thing, the exterior is three inches high. So if you've got three inches... Uh, under your seat, we can put some two it's, by fours underneath your rails. Oh, that'll be that'll be classy. Yeah, it's it's nine inches. It's nine by ten by three. Nine so, by nine by ten by three. Okay. Just say yeah. what it was. So if you've got that space under there, and um, again, there's a four hole pattern here, so there's nothing stopping you from making a bracket, say that fits this. Say you say you've only got a crossbar or something to mount to. I mean, you could always make a little bracket as yeah, long as you had the room. To Joe do can it. do that for you. Yeah, and it's you know, You said it's it's you it's in the title. It's called universal. So it's not just for guns. It's, no, no. Yeah. It's uh, they say universal valuables. So uh, it works perfectly for some guns, like I was saying. But uh, for most guns, probably, especially, you know, if you're going to carry it, if if you're installing this in the vehicle, then and you're using it for firearms, then it's going to be probably for your carry gun. I mean, that's what you're doing with it. Right. Um. So most carry guns would fit in there easily with no problem at all. I mean, if I could put a 1911 in there, that that's going to cover pretty much anything that most people would carry. That's cool, man. And I like the mechanical lock, too. You know, having to futz around with a key, not always the best thing in the world. And I hate electronics. I don't trust electronics at all. So that mechanical lock where it's – I don't even know how – am I saying that? Is Joe, is that what it's called, a mechanical lock? That's what they um, – is that what they call it? Yeah, they call it a combo lock. But, yeah, I would call yeah. it a mechanical lock. Because that was the one thing I was looking at when I first opened this – I was thinking, okay, this is because it's not, you know, I'm looking at it, okay, is this this is kind of a plastic kind of lock or something. But once I got it out and took a look at it, it's really pretty solid. Yeah, uh, this thing's not going anywhere at all. It's going to last. Uh, and and just it fine. and they don't fail. Those things don't fail. It's not like 
those mechanical locks, you know, uh, they don't fail. It's not like you need batteries or whatever. Yeah. The other thing too, I'm noticing like my keychain's starting to get pretty crowded now. <laughs> I just, uh, my bill DC just handed me another one the other day. So it's like, uh, like not picking up, uh, yeah, really. That's what it's starting to get like. Um, not picking up another key is probably a good thing here for this. So, um, so yeah, it looks like a great product. Um, you know, uh, again, reasonable, um, reasonable price at two nineteen. Um, that's the price on their website. Uh, if you look for locators, dealer locators on there, or they have a dealer locator. Yeah, but isn't there a discount code? Um, I don't know, Rich. Uh, it says right there on the paper. Where does it say that? Oh, we do have a discount code. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, this is the thing that I didn't get though today, you know. So it's, actually, I did get it. I it's been it laying there, so oh. uh, <laughs> I can't look at everything. So we do have a discount code. It's Tuffy G O R. We'll get you twenty percent off uh, on this particular thing. It's a minimum seventy five dollar value. So um, so good. So we do have a discount code. Outstanding. And um, like I said, this looks like a great, um, just a great product. That really uh, come in different colors. Um, no, I saw black powder coated and that was, uh, what I saw on the website. Any color you want, as long as it's black. But Henry Ford. There you go. And, um, again, that's toughyproducts.com is the website. Uh, and I, Dave was out of the room for the, uh, lifetime, uh, warranty. Wow. So, yeah. Well, it uh, looks like it's parts of manufacturing. Yeah. This thing's going to be solid. Um, I mean, there were some conditions and things, but, um, for the most part, uh, it's going to work the way it's supposed to work. And uh, this thing is a tank. So uh, once you install it someplace, nothing's going to happen to yeah. this. And Tuffy's, as, I mean, they're not, it's not like that's some fly by night. I mean, Tuffy's been around for forever. They make some really good good stuff. Right. That's their expertise. Looks good. Awesome. All right. So we got it. So what'd you get at Amazon? Did I get it from what? I mean, how'd you get it? You got it from Rich. Yeah, I got it from Rich. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got it right from Tuffy. Okay. Oh, it's about time. I'm <laughs> impressed. God, make my day. All right, so then what we're going to have to do is find somebody that we can put it in a Jeep. Yeah, and then we found somebody. And then, and then test it. I'll test it. You're going to test it? See, look at that. You already figured out how to open it. Thanks for watching this clip from Gun Owners Radio. You can watch us live every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. California time right here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're in the San Diego area, you can listen to us on 1170 AM. We're also available on your favorite podcast platform for free. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can help restore and protect the Second Amendment, not just in California, but across the country.